what's the best way to get over an ex? Time. It takes a lot of time. Can't fast forward it. It gets easier with time. But goes faster if you take steps to get in the proper mindset. I became a man whore for a while. It was distracting. But it felt so empty. What helped me the most was writing her a long email about her faults and shitty behavior. If you do this, don't hold anything back. Do not send this email. It's therapy for you, not for them. When my wife left me I immediately started a woodworking project. I had to stop and cry every hour or so but at least I had my mind occupied some of the time. The biggest thing for me is to let go. Let go of everything you were looking forward to. Everything you wanted to do. You no longer want to do those things. Every time you begin down a conversation in your head you wanted to have. Let go. It's hard but you've got to reformulate your life without them. They're not coming back. Following this BC I just got dumped by my GF of 2 years and been crying all week. Shit if anyone gives a good answer PLS share. I feel your pain bro. Edit. Truly thank you so much to everyone who responded. Everyone's advice RLLY does help SM and I appreciate all of you guys. Wait 30 years and it eventually goes away. I know it sounds very cliche but just go on about your day. And for the love of every single god do not stalk their social media it'll only make it harder for you. It will hurt the first few weeks of course. Nothing you can do about that. Also. Find a hobby or meet new people. Maybe start doing something you used to before you started dating but stopped because you didn't have the time anymore. And hash x200b. My last breakup was a relationship that lasted almost 7 years. That bad feeling lasted a few months and I started dating someone else one year after that. I'm really emotional so if I survived that. You'll be just fine laughing face. Have a good one OP. Work out. Keep yourself in your house clean. Eventually have somebody who is right in your wheelhouse show interest and realize you are too broken at the moment. Repeat. Eventually. You stick the landing on the last part. It hasn't been mentioned. But find a new hobby. Something to occupy your mind in your free time. Something easily accessible that can cost very little if you'd like it to. Dungeons and Dragons. A period of history. Buy an inexpensive guitar and learn to play. Things like that. Work out. Oh man here we go. Exercise and try to do things that make you feel better about yourself. New outfit, hairdo etc. Surround yourself with friends and family. Plan fun events with them etc. Write down the terrible things from the relationship. Your brain will try to remember the best. Don't forget why it's over. Do not. I repeat. Do not. Try to contact them. Be strong. Erase their phone number. Unfollow social media. Contacting them will only result in being ignored, more pain, or receiving a response that might continue hope of a future. Best of luck. Shit isn't easy. But it will get easier. Not immediately. But it will actually rationalize it understand your loss and why you might think you lost more than you really did if it ended because they didn't love you or loved you less than you loved them understand that you only lost someone who didn't love you so in reality you didn't lose anything of real worth you'd never be happy long term in a relationship where they didn't truly love you back i found the best way to get over an ex was to date myself sounds so cheesy i know but I spent time rediscovering this new me. I spent a lot of time with my family and friends. I volunteered. I explored my hobbies. Took on a few more shifts at work basically loving on myself. It helped me a lot. Anything but a rebound. Don't drag someone else's emotions into your own emotional mess. It's unfair. When I was a teenager I gathered up all the notes and garbage she gave me. Stole a lighter from my parents. And set all of it on fire in the dirt right off the train tracks. You will never be happy being with anyone who doesn't want to be with you. If you have abandonment issues, fear or terror of being alone, or other trauma, this can make you think being with anyone is better than being alone. But that isn't true. Remember the shit they put you through. Head games, neediness, manipulation tactics, belittling, etc. Run into her when she gained 80 pounds and has a dewey under her belt. Wow. Way less attractive. Sit and process it. 
I loved my ex but I ultimately decided to end it after I came to the realization that we wanted different things and were not in love. She was my best friend and I still miss her and I have been through some tough breakups before but I had to go through the emotions and accept it for what it was. Love is strange and to this day I wish her the best and hope she gets everything she deserves. We don't talk anymore and I have no idea what she is doing but we both moved on. I am in a loving relationship with someone I am in love with who gives me what I wanted out of a relationship and I look back at my previous relationship as a learning process. Love like life wouldn't be as cherished a thing if it was a sure thing and guaranteed. That's why you work at it and the process is worth the lessons and the reward in either way. Herm. Well. It sort of depends. If it's a bad breakup. Quit cold turkey. Get rid of anything that reminds you of them. Delete all contact info. That sort of thing. Like you've erased them from your life. If it was a more amicable breakup. Can't help you there. Probably some emotional growth shit. I wish I can tell you. But I didn't get over yet. The only way out of heartbreak is to go through it. Feel it. And process it. You'll eventually realize you haven't thought about them in a while and don't feel much either way when you do think of them. Frontal lobotomy. Forget you even have an ex. Forget you forgot. Then you can forget about forgetting. Went through this for the first half of this year and still struggle occasionally. So here are my few cents. When you catch yourself starting an imaginary conversation or ruminating on them. Acknowledge it and bring your mind away from it. Focus on the present. Practicing meditation will help you do this more effectively. Work out. If you do a challenging activity like running you'll be busy thinking about the fact that you're fucking dying and still have a ways to go before you get back home. And your breakup will be the least of your concerns at that moment. In the end you'll feel good because you actually did something. And you'll feel like you're making progress on something. Vent to your friends. You'll annoy them eventually. But that's okay for now. If you don't want to annoy your friends. Vent to chat GPT. It may sound stupid, but it'll acknowledge your feelings and give you some generic advice. It'll help get things out of your system. Read, Attached. The new science of adult attachment and how it can help you find, and keep, love. I burned through this book in a couple of days and it was like therapy. Do a quick search and you'll find the audiobook for free on YouTube. Going to a few therapy sessions will help you work through your feelings with someone who's there to give you their full attention for an hour. Write a list of things you didn't like about your ex. If they dumped you for no reason other than, I'm just not feeling it, or blindsided you. They are untrustworthy, lack communication skills and are incapable of committing and putting in the work necessary for a relationship. That's not the person you want to be with and that should be item number one. Otherwise, I'm sure you can think of things to write down. Join a new club. Sign up for a class. Start doing a new hobby. Make new friends. If the breakup is extremely recent, less than two weeks. Let yourself be sad. Let it wash over you. Experience it. Accept that heartbreak is the most human of emotions. We all go through it. There are millions of people on the same boat as you right now. Cry. Lay down and do nothing. Listen to sad music. Do all of that. But once the two weeks are up you have to stop. It's time to do the things I described above. This is a time for you to reconnect with yourself and find who you want to be apart from the influence of someone else. This is your opportunity to level up. This is a months long process. But you got this and I'm rooting for you. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like. If you would like to see more content like this in the future. Subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified about future videos. Now check out one of these interesting videos.